An atom is the smallest particle into which an element can be divided and still have properties of that element. For example, if you have gold and keep cutting it smaller and smaller, it'll retain the properties of gold. But if you get down to an atom of gold and you cut it any further into the protons, neutrons, electrons, it no longer has the properties of gold. An element is a collection of the same atoms that cannot be broken down any further by physical means. So it's a collection of gold. A mixture is two or more atoms or substances that do not combine chemically and can be separated by physical means. So a mixture might be a solution or a suspension. Here's a data table where we can record our information. In bag A, you can see that there is one bolt. This best represents an atom, the smallest particle into which an element can be divided and still have properties of that element. So on our data table, under A, one bolt, we write atom. In bag B, there's just one nut. In bag C, there's a washer. Both B and C can best be described as atoms. Bag D has three bolts in the same bag. This best represents an element, a collection of atoms. So under D on our data table, we write an element. Bag E has three nuts in the same bag. Bag F has three washers in the same bag. Both E and F are the same atoms in the container, so they're best described as elements. Bag G has three bolts and three nuts in the same bag but they are not assembled together. This is a mixture, two or more atoms that are not bonding together. So on our data table, under G, we put mixture. The elements are not bonding together. Bag H has three bolts, three nuts, and three washers, all in the same bag, that are not assembled together. This is also a mixture, this time of three different elements. In bag I, we have a bolt and a nut that are in the same bag and they are assembled, they are hooked together. This is a compound or a molecule. The atoms have bonded, they're connected together. So on our data table, under I, we put molecule or a compound. Bag J has a bolt, washer, and a nut all in the same bag, and they are attached together. They're assembled. J is also a molecule or a compound, but it's made up of three atoms. In bag K, there are three bolts and three nuts that are assembled, they're hooked together, and we have three bolts and three nuts that are not assembled, they are not hooked together. In bag K, there are both atoms hooked together and not hooked together, so we say it is a mixture, but it's a mixture of molecules and elements, or atoms. Finally, in bag L, there are four bolts and four nuts that are assembled, they are hooked together, and we have three bolts, three washers, and three nuts that are also assembled, they are hooked together. In L, we can see that everything's hooked together, they're all molecules or compounds, so we have a mixture of compounds, or a mixture of molecules. 
Let's see what you've learned by answering some questions. What we want to do now is match the boxes at the right to the description on the left. So which box, A, B, C, D, E, or F, shows an atom? That would be box A. You see a single atom there. A collection of atoms is called an element. The box that shows an element is D. A compound or a molecule is when atoms bond together. So which one of these is just a compound? E. A mixture are when atoms are in the same container, but they are not forming a chemical reaction. They're not bonding together. The box that shows that is B. A mixture of compounds means you have elements that have bonded together and you have different kinds in there. The one that shows that is C. Finally, the mixture of compounds and elements, so you have things that have bonded together and loose atoms in there, the only one left is F. In part B, we have to match the box on the right with the description on the left but there might be more than one correct answer. Number seven says, which box contains atoms? Well, we know that A is an atom. We know that D is a collection of atoms. And B has different atoms in there. But actually, all of the boxes contain atoms. Which one has only atoms and no compounds? Well, we know A is an atom, not a compound. D, we have atoms in there that are not bonded together, they're not compounds, and B has different atoms in there that are not bonding together, that's a mixture. So A, B, and D are only atoms, no compounds. The ones that are only compounds and no separate atoms, we're looking for something that has bonded together with things that are not left by themselves. That would be C and E. Both of them show atoms that have bonded together. The final question says, which one has both separate atoms and compounds? We're looking for a box that has things that are bonded together in the same container as just atoms that are by themselves. The only one that matches that is F.